hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I'm the nurse flipper happy Friday this is going to be a research video on ashtrays ashtrays are everywhere they're at the thrift store they're at estate sales they're in online auctions they are all over the place so today I'm, I'm going to show you ashtrays that sold for $250 all the way up to five thousand dollars for an ashtray so if you're not looking at ashtrays after you watch this video i bet you will be all right so if you are not looking at ashtrays you might want to start the most expensive ashtray that I personally have sold has been around $100, but I found it at a thrift store for only three. So there are some brands and styles of ashtrays that sell for big money, and I'm going to show you them right now. Up first is a brand that I am familiar with because of clothing, and that is Tommy Bahama. This is a Tommy Bahama Porcelain Cigar Paradise Ashtray. Orange, it says it's rare and pristine. This one sold for $250, and here it is up close. Pretty simple. Keep an eye on those ashtrays. Make sure you know those wider divots are for cigars. I typically will put cigar and cigarette in my title, but some people specifically look for cigar ashtrays. Next one is a watch brand, and that is Rolex. So if you see any ashtrays with Rolex on them, I definitely would pick them up. And there are actually a couple in the video. This is the first one. This is a vintage Rolex green marble small round ashtray with gold metal mount. This is another one with the larger. Looks like it would be more typical for a cigar. This one was sold in Australia. So all you Australia people, watch out for these ashtrays. Here it is up close showing you that Rolex symbol engraved into the marble. And here is the bottom of the ashtray. All right, next is a set of ashtrays. These are individual ashtrays, so keep an eye out for sets. This one is enamel. I personally love picking up almost anything enamel, Hi. so watch for those. Hi. Happy Friday! Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. I start school next week. He is starting school next Wednesday, so our schedule is getting ready to be a little mixed up. So this is a set of ashtrays from Germany. This is a very rare German Bajas avant-garde enamel ashtray set. This one is from 1925. It sold for $269.50. Here you can see the ashtrays out of their holder, each a different color, really, really pretty enamel there. And then here you can see what they look like inside of the holder. This next one is a McDonald's ashtray and i think it sold so high because of the color and the age i don't think all mcdonald's ashtrays sell for big money but i think they do sell so let me show you this green mcdonald's ashtray this is a rare vintage mcdonald's amber glass ashtray this one is it says smooth bottom from the 1970s it sold for 274 dollars and 99 cents here you can see that design on the side and you can see the seller did show the bottom this next one is not branded and it goes to show that the subject matter of anything you are selling can make itself for high dollar this next one is a skull ashtray this is a rare vintage skull and book ashtray really simple title there the teeth on this thing are kind of weird this one was an auction got 10 bids sold for 291 dollars and 73 cents here it is up close really really kind of crazy looking skull and here on the bottom you can see this one was made in japan all right, up next is an advertising ashtray. I recommend looking for advertising ashtrays. Most of them are going to be more bread and butter sales, sell for more of that 15, 20, $30 mark. But if you can find them for 50 cents or a dollar, that is still a really great profit. So this next one is a rare vintage Stromberg 
Carlson Telephone Manufacturing Advertising Cast Iron Ashtray. It is marked from the USA. This one sold for $299.99. And here up close, you can see that it is marked Rochester, New York, USA. All right, another Australian ashtray. Again, all my Australian viewers, start looking at the ashtrays. This is a very rare golden fleece green ashtray made by Alicia Australia. It is a vintage. This one sold for Australian 350. Here is the ashtray up close, very, very small. And then here on the bottom, you can see it is clearly marked Alicia Australia. I do want to say, I know I'm telling my Australian people to watch out for them, but people travel all over the world and ashtrays are the exact kind of souvenir that they would bring home. So I feel like you could find these in the U.S. as well as other places around the world. Next up is a Bakelite ashtray. Some Bakelite items go for big money and this is a butterscotch Bakelite that sold for a lot. This is a vintage Bakelite ashtray butterscotch color made in the 1950s Czechoslovakia. This one sold for $299. Here you can see it up close. It does say ashtray on one side and then on the other has a graphic of a cigarette smoking. All right, this next one is actually a piece to some of the most expensive ones that I'm going to show you later on in the video. It is actually just the insert for a standing ashtray and it is made of jadeite. This is a rare original Frank Art jadeite green glass insert ashtray. So it is for the ashtray stands. This one sold for $334. So no stand at all, just the insert. Here it is up close. You can see the beautiful jadeite color on that. And here's the bottom. This one was not marked. All right, this next brand is a brand we know from the teacups. I did not know that they made ashtrays. Did you? This is a Shelly ashtray. This is a Buchanan's black and white whiskey advertising ashtray, New Zealand from Shelly sold for $325. Here on the side, you can see it says black and white scotch whiskey. And here on the bottom, this is a, your typical Shelly England mark that you will also find on their high dollar teacups. All right, we have another car brand. I tell you over and over, watch for those expensive brands like Mercedes, Ferrari, BMW on advertising material because they sell for good money. So next one is a Ferrari ashtray. This is a vintage Ferrari ashtray made by Richard Ginori under license of Ferrari, 79 and 80. This one sold for $327. Here you can see the Ferrari and the ashtray up close. And here on the back, you can see it is clearly marked Richard Ginori, Italy. All right, beware. There's a little bit of nudity coming up. And I have to tell you that boobies sell. I just sold a high dollar semi nude figurine. People like people like boobies. What, what can I say? They like the boobies and they sell. So this next one is a 1950s ashtray from Buddy Clark's Roundup, Mason Street, San Francisco, sold for $350. Here it is up close. You can see it says Roundup Buddy Clark's and you can see that it has the address in San Francisco to that. I don't know if it's a restaurant or a strip bar, whatever it is, it's sold for big money. So watch out for nude or semi nude items. They can sell really high. This next one is one that you could have expected to see in my mid-century modern video. I will tell you, I learned a lot doing the research for this ashtray video. Some of these I never would have imagined would sell for as much as they do. This is a rare vintage mid-century modern Hollywood Regency bronze fish sculpture ashtray. It sold for $345. Here it is up close. You can see the multiple slots for cigarettes and here on the bottom, you can see this one was not marked. All right, 
there is another hotel ashtray coming up and this is the first of the stand ashtrays that you are going to see most of the really high dollar ashtrays are stand ashtrays so they are the ashtrays that sit on the floor and were typically placed by a chair in a seating area this one is probably from the lobby of the hotel this is a new york hotel edison jadei ashtray with wood ship wheel stand they do say it's super rare this one sold for 375 dollars here up close i wanted to show you that if you found this while you were outsourcing it is very very clearly identified hotel edison new york most of these ashtrays that are selling for this much money are selling on the higher side they are rare they are not seen frequently so that is where using worth point to research because you have 10 years of history to get a price and price these items correctly i have used worth point for over two years i absolutely love it i will drop down a link to worth point in the comments as well as in the description for you if you are finding a lot of rare items and not sure how to price them it's a great tool to have for your business next is another australian ashtray this is a vintage australian pottery ashtray pipe holder koala figurine by grace sicombe this one sold for 359.48 this one was a u.s seller i told you guys some of these australia ashtrays do find their way back to the u.s and here on the bottom you can see it is clearly marked with a gs and australia all right this next one is a big lot of items it is 39 ashtrays but if you went to a garage sale or an estate sale of a collector you might very well find a lot of the same ashtray where you would be able to sell them just like the seller did and this is a lot of mcdonald's ashtrays this is a lot of 39 vintage aluminum ashtrays three and a half inch diameter they say they are unused this set of 40 sold for 400 dollars so they got about ten dollars each so again if you find them for 50 cents or a dollar that is a great profit on your investment and here up close you can see all of the mcdonald's ashtrays all right next is another china brand this is royal bay ruth and this one definitely would have caught my eye again if they are out there they are different they look weird pay attention to those this is a antique royal bay ruth devil satan demon there are amazing amazing keywords this one sold for 399 dollars 99 here you can see it kind of turned to the side so you can see how wide that mouth is and here on the bottom you can see it is clearly marked up next is a airplane ashtray and this one looks really really cool this is a lockheed 1049g super constellation ashtray 1950s this was made by Rife models and it is number k122 this one sold for 400 dollars here it is up close so this is a big ashtray we're starting to get into some of those bigger ones that stand up you will see as we go along keep an eye out for these ashtrays up next is a custom ashtray it was an auction i do not i do not know what made it go so high but if you find a rare item and you didn't pay much you're struggling to figure out where to price it an auction might be a good option because there are a lot of ashtray collectors i also want to mention i did a class earlier this week for how to price your items so if you're running into a lot of items you're unsure how to price check out my big cartel store i have master classes on pricing researching as well as how to keyword those items to get the most money you can out of items that you are picking up this next one here is a custom made cigar box ashtray this one was an auction got 24 bids sold for 455 dollars here it is up close it just says h99 so again if you know why this one sold for so much definitely let me know down in the comments all right up next is 
the first of ashtrays this one is not a frank art i do not believe but they use frank art in the keywords and they say frank art area so frank art is going to come up you're going to see quite a few of them in these higher dollar ashtrays so definitely know that name this one is a rare ronson amw deco egyptian queen of the nile ashtray original from the frank art era this one sold for 456 dollars and 87 cents here you can see up close they've got a woman outstretched holding the ashtray this next one is a cast iron stand ashtray so definitely if you see any stand ashtrays and they are cheap i would go ahead and pick them up without researching them but if they are on the higher end i would still try to look them up because they could be worth hundreds of dollars some of them are worth thousands this is a vintage 37 and a quarter inch tall cast iron butler smoking sand ashtray i do love you too you can see he is holding out a tray that is the ashtray and this one sold for 398 dollars all right this next one sold for over 450 dollars and i think this is my favorite ashtray in this video i am amazed at how the seller took photos please take note if you are selling something that is uranium glass or glows i would use a picture of the item glowing for the front picture just like the seller did this is a vintage art deco smoking ashtray stand jadeite glass uranium and they put that it glows this one sold for 455 dollars really really amazing front picture there here i wanted to show you what it looks like without that black light on still a really really cool ashtray and then here you can see the whole thing including the stand all right the next one is a souvenir from harry's bar this is a vintage harry's bar venezia turquoise blue ashtray mid-century modern estate this one sold for 495 dollars here you can see it up close it says harry's bar venezia and then here on the bottom you can see it is signed but i am unsure what that name is all right the next one is a gucci ashtray watch out watch out for those names that you know are high dollar this is a gucci marble black star trinket tray or ashtray in the box sold for 500 dollars here it is up close you can see it does say gucci on it and kind of has like smoking flames and here on the bottom it is clearly marked gucci so even if you found this without the box you would be able to identify it all right speaking of high dollar names the next one is cartier this is a authentic cartier tray panther face porcelain ashtray gold this was another one with the box so of course the box is going to add value but these still would sell for good money this one sold for 499 dollars and here on the back this one does not say cartier but it does clearly say made in france so I have said this over and over i'm gonna say it again because i really want to impress it if stuff is made in italy made in france made in australia made in germany if if it's made in another country check it out give it a second look and a lot of made in usa items sell very high as well this next one is a vintage very rare ashtray for tobacco pipes this one is with a cork this one is by kaufman brothers and bondi this one sold for 500 dollars. here you can see it up close and i wanted to show you here on the side you can see the kb and b which is what stands for the kaufman brothers and bondi all right this next one is a really really cute ashtray this is at the higher end this one sold for 500 but there were a lot of these ashtrays selling for 300 dollars up and the prices seem to really depend on the color and how rare the color was. So this is a gloopy ashtray, orange and lilac, limited edition of 500 by Seth Rogen. They also put for house plants. This one sold for $500. And here you can see it up close. Just really, really cute little ashtray that sold for good money. All right, we have another Frank Art era. This one is new art another the same style as the one with the woman leaning over holding the tray so learn this style because these can bring good good money 
this is a rare new art figural ashtray smoker set sign this one from the frank art era it sold for 650 dollars and here you can see up close this is another one kind of a semi nude there holding the ashtray and brought big big money and carrying on the nude or semi nude here is another nude frank art ashtray that sold for 635 dollars so this is a deco nude frank art ashtray you can see the woman holding the ashtray there and this one sold for 635 dollars all right more boobies they they sell <laughs> they sell that's all i can say this is an extremely rare original frank art t384 art deco kneeling nude ashtray sign this one sold for 650 dollars here you can see up close very very cool almost that jadeite green color and this seller did have a, the page out of a book that described this ashtray and had the ashtray number up next is another cartier this one on the bottom you can see that it is clearly marked cartier and i will show you that this is a unused authentic cartier vintage 150th anniversary ashtray they did put dead stock in the title this one sold for 780 dollars and here on the back of this one you can see it's clearly marked 1847 to 1997 and on the bottom you can see it does say cartier all right another semi-nude ashtray this one is made of bronze i have learned through my years of reselling that bronze and brass with the right subject matter can sell for big money this is an everlight art deco nude smoking sand original finish from the 1920s this one sold for 747 dollars and 55 cents and here you can see her up close she does have some shorts on it looks like i think or maybe just a belt and she is holding the ashtray above her head and then we have another Hermes. if you don't know the name Hermes, they apparently make pretty much everything they have come up in all of my high dollar videos so watch out for Hermes. this is a Hermes mosaic 24 karat gold ashtray new full set it says it is giftable and this one sold for eight hundred dollars next is another limited edition ashtray so when it comes to limited edition whether it be artwork ashtrays teacups whatever it is the lower the number typically the higher the value and this one was one out of 200 this is a saint dupont padron 50th anniversary this is number 22 of 200 it is new in the box this one sold for 899 dollars and here up close you can see it clearly says padron 50 year anniversary all right we have got another new art another nude and it is bronze this is a new art new york city art deco nude beauty tray ashtray and they also put in here here are some good keywords card tip or trinket sculpture and they put the word artwork this one sold for 895 dollars all right here comes a puppy dog ashtray this one is another sand ashtray this is a super rare bradley and hubbard boston terrier dog floor smoke stand this one was antique and sold for 850 dollars all right we have got another frank art and this one sold for 875 dollars so when it comes to ashtrays frank art is definitely one that was dominating the higher dollar ashtrays this is a frank art t333 cover girl art deco sign smoker ashtray stand this one sold for 875 dollars and here you can see the bottom of that sand and what it looks like all right we are now up to a thousand dollar ashtrays and the first thousand dollar one is another frank art this is a frank art art deco standing three graces female nudes figural floor ashtray this one sold for a thousand dollars i wanted to show you up close here the crazing on that ceramic ashtray there is cracking and it's still sold for a thousand dollars 
All right, up next is a red devil ashtray. This one looks pretty cool. This is a vintage red devil with tail sitting on an Overman cushion. This is a tire advertising ashtray. This one sold for $1,258. Here you can see that little devil up close. And here on the bottom, you can clearly see it does say the name of the tire company written on the outer rim. This one was an auction. It got 15 bids and sold for $1,258. Right, now we are up to our top five and these are going to go from fifteen hundred dollars to over five thousand well right at five thousand right at five thousand so don't go anywhere you need to know these top ones this first one is a 1995 habitat blue art glass ashtray it says it is attributed to mark newsome this one sold for fifteen hundred and seventy five dollars here you can see up close this is an absolutely beautiful glass ashtray all right we've got the second rolex ashtray coming in at over fifteen hundred dollars this is a vintage 1950s rolex big crown ashtray you can see the rolex crown there in the center of the ashtray this one was an auction got 32 bids and sold for fifteen hundred and eighty dollars and here you can see that ashtray up close it does say rolex there on the crown all right, this next one is a Mercedes one, but it says it's Mercedes shoes. I'm not super familiar with Mercedes and if they made shoes, but this one sold for big money. This is a very rare vintage Mercedes shoes, monkey ashtray, enamel on brass. It is Robert Dold artwork. This one sold for $2,000. Here up close, you can see the monkey is holding a pair of shoes. And here on the back, you can see it does say Dold Offenberg. And then we have a Noritake ashtray coming in at $20. $100. I know most of you probably are familiar with the name Noritake. Keep your eye out for ashtrays. This is an antique Noritake. They said beyond rare ashtray. That is their only title. Sold for $2,100. You can see the orange and white stripes. Here it is up close. This I believe is a cigar ashtray. And then here on the back or bottom you can see it does clearly say noritake hand painted made in japan all right we are up to our top selling ashtray that came in at four thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars for one ashtray ashtrays who would have known this is a Thomas Molesworth wrought iron deco ashtray smoking stand butler. This one sold for $4,999. And here up close, you can see there is quite a bit of wear on the tray this rabbit is holding. And here on the bottom, you can see it is not marked. All right, that is the end of our ashtrays. I hope you were enlightened. I hope you feel like you gained some knowledge from this video. If you liked it and want to surprise some of your friends, share it with them. Let them learn what these ashtrays can sell for as well. I appreciate you watching. If you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button. I typically do about one research video a week. I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful weekend. Don't forget to check out those master classes that are already done, as well as ones we will be doing in the upcoming weeks. I will see my members tomorrow night for sourcing at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you don't know, there is a join button below each video if you're viewing on a computer and you can join my membership and we actually do six to eight additional lives per month with sourcing, listing reviews, live shipping, and it's a bunch of fun. So definitely check out the membership if you haven't already. I would love to have you join and come hang out with us. I will see you on Monday with a what sold video. Bye for now guys.